Can you believe that all the animals, all the pets on our last show got adopted? Yes, they have new homes on our last yeah. show. I started the uh, ball rolling. Uh, he up. did. <laughs> he did. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to the doghouse on GTV6. As you know, this is where you can adopt a new friend to take home for the holidays that are coming up. They're already upon us. You know, bring a little warmth and sunshine into your, into your family and share the love over those holiday days that are that are coming up. Um, so we're about to introduce you to a whole flock of new pets that you could adopt here at the Pasadena Humane Society, including one rabbit, three cats, and three dogs. Um, but first, we'll introduce the people on our show, as we always do. To my right is Dottie Sharkey. Hi, Don. Thank Hello. you for joining us again today. Hi, Don. And to my left is Roy Guy, and Roy is our volunteer pet adoption counselor at the Pasadena Humane Society. Thank you, Roy, for being with us again welcome, today. Good morning, everybody. And I'm Rob Sharkey, and now we are going to show you those lucky pets who have found a new forever home on our last show. Okay, well, thank you again for taking all those, those animals home and sharing the love uh, in your home. We're going to show you uh, what uh, you could now take home if you want to share a little more love in, in the future. And here's our, our producer uh, bringing on our first pet. Marlon, come on in. Here's our, our first pet of the show. This is Truffles the, 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 tr truff Truffles. <laughs> Truffles the rabbit. And Truffles is a two-year-old male rabbit whose number is A278502. It says, overall, black, one lop ear. Let's, up. let's see the lop ear. Up. Is that the lop ear? Or yep. is it the other? That's well, the lop ear. See, this is, isn't this cute? The black's very unusual. You don't often get <laughs> it is. It black is. Ones. He's not been neutered yet. That still has to be so. done. I think he has little tan paws, if I can tell. Little well, spot tan paws. Yeah. Little Little tan toes, tan toes. He's very shy, but enjoys being petted, as you can see. And um, boy, that e that ear is like a flag there, isn't it? He's <laughs> That's his shy part. That's it. oh, <laughs> the other ear is his outgoing. The, the yes, other, here's the, the outgoing. Is this is out. a little shy. Yeah. Okay. This is the he's extrovert kidding. ear, and this yeah. is the introvert ear. So there you go. You can have him either way. Um, but he he came here as a stray. Roy, what would truffles cost? Truffles would be $30 to adopt him, and uh, he would be neutered, of course, and he would be microchipped before he leaves here. And if you're willing to take two, you'd get the, you could get another one completely free. So you would get th two for $30. Oh, what a good boy. He's just yeah. sitting there. He does sitting. like to be petted. Look at how he's just kind of snuggling oh, up here. he is a good boy. He's a good boy. He'd be a great pet. What a sweet pet. So ra rabbits are not too difficult to take care of. You don't need to keep them in a cage. You can, you, you know, you can let them out. They need to be supervised so they don't hop all over the place and chew on the furniture. And wires and things, wires yeah, and wires. Yeah. You have yeah, to be careful. Watch them because oh. they will nibble. Yeah. And they, they, they can be litter box trained. Yeah. So it's, it's a great overall pet. Yeah. If, if you it's want a special to. litter, not uh, yeah. Not it's a spe regular, special but litter. It's but uh, we have it here at Pasadena Humane. Right. It's kind of like a hay. Yeah. So truffles number. Is A278502, a two year old overall black male rabbit. Okay, <laughs> on to our cats, as you could probably yeah. guess. And this oh first one has lots to say. Here's our here's uh -oh. our volunteer Judy. Judy, come on in. Come on in, come on in. This oh, okay, little guy. <laughs> this is this cat it says very shy. <laughs> Looks Somehow, like a mountain lion. <laughs> I, I think this is not properly described. Okay, let's get its number and this <laughs> is this, this is Tofu, a three year old three year old <laughs> neutered hey, male. Oh, no. Tofu's number is A two seven seven two to get down. Six six. He is actually it's very okay. affectionate. Loves to well, be petted, loves attention. He's scared of the yeah, light. He, he is scared. He is scared oh, okay. being out here. He's a, um, he is a right. deep red tabby. We don't often see this color. It's a little, little kind of a very popular. Very popular. Very, 
you'll get adopted right away. Very un yeah. unusual color. But you have to put your best paw forward here. He, he's, tabbies <laughs> tend to be very vocal cats, you know. Yeah, um, so. Some cats don't, but, That's okay. but tabbies do. They're going to let Sorry. you know when they want to want their food okay. or you Let's know, give want this or that or whatever. say he's very friendly. He loves attention. So <laughs> he's a very active you. cat. <laughs> Dot, de <laughs> Dot deserves <laughs> extra. Okay, what's going on? Extra award for wrangling this oh cat. So does goodness. Judy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Tofu would it. really like a home, wow. and his number. Uh, he's a three-year-old neutered male. Look at his tip on his. He. Uh, Came came in um, yeah. needing a second home because okay. um, he uh, was right. unable to stay in his first Whoops. home. Um, so okay, tofu is a two seven seven two six six. Tofu. Okay. Well, we have one more cat and one one more after that. This is Pebbles. Um, well, actually, this is not Pe Pebbles. This is Andrea. Come on in, Andrea, our, our, our volunteer. <laughs> not to Thank be confused with Pebbles. With Pebbles. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. Oh, this is a pretty this cat. Is, th this is a sweet cat. This yeah. is a good lap cat. This is um, a spayed female who's two years old, and Pebbles' number is A277458. What a She's so cat. appropriately named. She looks kind like she's a, a little dilute Pebbles. Dilute calico? Yeah. Dilute. Yeah, dilute calico. Character. Okay. Yeah, a domestic, short-haired cat, <coughs> enjoys attention, purrs a lot. It says Pebbles gets so happy from petting that she'll drool. She'll drool. Oh. Well, she hasn't done that yet, but she seems very happy being petted. She's saving it for later. Now, we didn't mention this about, let's see, what was tofu, the dark red tabby, but what, what, what do cats cost? What, what, the what cats are cost? $70 uh, to adopt them from yeah, here. We got it. And that is, um, includes the spaying, all the nutrient, uh, the microchipping, a free veterinarian evaluation with, within five days of taking it home, free carrier, a sample of the food that we feed them from here, 10% discount store uh, in our store. Uh, if you was going to take two, you would get the second one for fifteen dollars. Oh wow! Okay. So you'd get two for eighty-five. Um, so Pebbles is a spayed female. She's ready to go. She can go home immediately. She came in as a stray, so she really she looks like she's well cared for by wherever she came from. She looks pretty healthy. Yeah. Um, but she's a pretty solid little thing, so she's a soft very, and cute. Very pretty cat, really a very pretty. Oh, cat. I think I found a spot. <laughs> her, her happy spot. So um, she's kind look of this see, dappled, look at, look dilute color, and um, she's just a really friendly cat. Pebbles number A two seven seven four five eight. Good. Okay, well, before we go on, maybe you're thinking about adopting a pet and thinking about, well, where, where, where can I get a pet? Should I buy a pet? Should I go here, there, whatever? And there's just so many advantages, truly, from adopt, for a, uh, adopting a pet from a shelter like Pasadena Humane Society. And I just want to run through a few of, few of the reasons here. Um, there are actually a total of 10 million pets every year that arrive at shelters and animal rescue organizations in the U U.S. So there's a huge se selection at shelters, particularly here at Pasadena. Um, and there are many benefits to adopting a pet from Pasadena Humane Society. And s some of the key benefits have to do with, with just animal health. Every animal that comes through this shelter benefits from on-staff veterinarians and health experts so that you know that the dog or cat you're adopting is going to be healthy and in good shape. And we can attest to that because we recently adopted one, a, a cat here, and it was just top notch. And there was a vet right here, you know, to examine the cat and uh, see that it had shots and was in good health. Uh, so per personal, first person um, uh, account, it's, it's, it's all true. Um, you meet with an adoption counselor like Roy here who helps you choose just the right pet for your house. So those are just a few of the advantages for uh, adopting from a shelter, and particularly here at the Pasadena Humane Society. We'll hope you com you'll consider PHS if, uh, if you're about to adopt your next pet. And so with that, we're going to bring on our next pet, who happens to be um, our, volunteer <laughs> our volunteer, Judy, it's with, <laughs> with uh, this okay. would be a cat. Thank Pop you, Judy. A cat Aww. named Pop. Here's little popcorn, Aww. and that's popcorn's real name because um, 
She was brought to us by an owner who could no longer keep her. She's a spayed female, two years old. Her number's A275592. She's a black and white domestic short hair with uh, just the biggest golden amber colored eyes. Very yeah. sweet. This is a cat. great age, too. You know the personality of the cat. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're, they're still um, kind of fun as a kitten and, and yet um, pretty grown up enough to. Yeah. She's very docile. Very. Yeah. It seems like she she's would be. She's very safe. Very soft. Very, uh, really. Su suitable. And appropriately named. I love that name, Popcorn. She's all grown so, up. She's not going to yeah. be jumping around like a kitten. You know, if well, you want a kitten, we, we have many. We have many kittens here. Uh, that's easy enough to do. Uh, this is a great age. But we this just, is a, ours was a, a year and a half. Well, this is a, an ideal age, yeah. um, and lots of life at the age of two. This cat will live to be almost twenty, probably. Uh, if you keep it in good health. She's been well um, cared for. Right. Keep keep your cat indoors. You know, um, indoor cats live much longer, and stay healthier. And it's um, cleaner. They don't get under the trees. And yeah, exactly. Get exactly. all the uh, exactly. So fleas and things. Popcorn. What would she cost? What would popcorn cost again, Roy? Uh, popcorn would be seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. She's yeah. spayed, so that means you could take her home today. But she still has to be uh, microchipped. Microchipped, yeah. so that if you lose her, if she gets lost, mm -hmm. they'll uh, be able to uh, and trace that her. Does work? Yes, it does. Microchipping does, does oh, work. Oh yes. Oh, there are countless. Stories Countless about stories. Florida to California. Uh, animals being found, <laughs> right. that, yeah. you know, across mm -hmm. the state or across across the country by microchips. So popcorn. <clears throat> Her number is a two seven five five nine two. Okay, here comes our first dog, all dressed up in his cute little scarf. This is Peppy. Thanks, Peppy. Mom. And Peppy's number Peppy. is a two seven nine zero five four. He's a black mm -hmm. and white pug mix with lab mix. What a great combination. You're a good boy. Because pugs Ooh. are very affectionate. Hello, and Peppy Labs the pug. are great Hello, family Peppy dogs. And he's, like he's neutered. Let's, let, let's see his cute little face. He's in a great he's shape. He's got a really cute little nice, face. Nice coat. Would he like to be um, a one dog? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. A one dog home. A one dog home. Okay. okay. Was that right? Uh, you were. He's very friendly, right? very energetic. He loves walks, yeah, so uh, if you need some exercise, oh. this is the little guy for you. <laughs> this is the little guy. And um, as we mentioned, oh, he was an owner turn-in, so his owner couldn't keep him. Well, but he seems in very good shape. He seems like he's well exercised already. So if and, and labs are a great family dog, and. Uh, you know, and pugs are affectionate. How how much better can it get than those oh, two great, combinations? Great. Well, I do really believe and, it's more uh, pug than it is lab. Yeah, but, but oh, both yeah. of them like energy. Yeah, the, it looks yeah. more pug. But he's got a nice disposition. He's kind of calm. Yeah, he's calm. Beautifully built. He's a great size. Yeah. You know, just kind of a middle size yeah. here. So would he be a dog if you want exercise, I guess, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, as so we've yeah. said before, if, you're, walks. if your yeah. dog's overweight, chances are you're not getting enough exercise. So. Walks, walks in the park, on the beach. <laughs> yeah. If your dog's overweight, so are you. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so you both should get out there. <laughs> so anyway, the, again, this is Peppy. And as we said, he's very affectionate, very friendly, loves walks, and uh, one dog only family. So he's uh, one dog, no other dogs in the family. <laughs> he would prefer. So uh, maybe he likes kitties. I don't know. What's, nice size. But nice what's size. Peppy the pug's number? Uh, his number is A279054. Well, maybe you found a dog. You know, maybe you spotted a stray dog. And before, before we even go on, you. Let's kind of figure out what to do if you spot a dog, you know, um, how, how you, you might respond. We all do. Um, and it depends really on whether the dog is, um, you know, aggressive or docile or whatever. But um, if, the, if, the, if it seems like the dog is safe and friendly, you, you can try and keep it yourself for the moment. But if it, the dog is aggressive, um, call the shelter. And of course call the shelter either way um, because somebody might be looking for that dog that you just found. Um, and the longer you hold on to it, the chance for a reunion becomes less likely. We'll give you a phone number for the shelter at the uh, end of the day. Also, if the lost dog or cat is microchipped, the Pasadena Humane Society shelter can easily scan that microchip and be able to identify the owner quickly. Now, 
you know, afterward, after the uh, shelter has come to pick up the dog or pet, there, there are other things you can do. You can prepare a, maybe a flyer giving a description of the lost uh, dog or cat that you found. Um, check your classified ads to see if anybody else is placing an ad for a lost pet. And uh, maybe you'd like to keep the dog, you know, and you'd like to, or a cat. And you can call the shelter yourself and check up on whether or not anybody has claimed it and then maybe claim it yourself. So here comes a dog that was lost. And um, Dot, who do we have here? Lost and found by the shelter. This is cute That's little cool. Marco, and Marco's number is A27. Eight, oh, I'll start over. A278678. A uh, little guy's only four years old, a male, and uh, black and white. And what does mixture here? Is oh, here's this a, here's a, uh, Have we got the right dog? Yeah. I think so. A dachshund? This is a dachshund. Yeah. Dachshund. A dachshund. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's Very not, it's friendly. Not black and white. Loves attention. <laughs> enjoys walking. Another good a little exercise dog. And he's got a great endorsement that he gets along well with other dogs. Yeah, so. that is a good endorsement. And uh, this is the same kind of similar to our, our neighbor's dog, Fonzie, who mm -hmm. always visits me. Oh, he comes up and visits me. He's so cute. Yeah. So these are. this is a great, great pet. This was a stray. A nice collar on. A stray. So it looks like he could use some attention. It, it, and, but it he's does. just just so adorable. Is it you too, Don? So adorable. He, uh, it doesn't say. doesn't say. It doesn't, it doesn't say. say. That probably means but he isn't, and that's why yeah. he got lost. He probably tried to get out and uh, couldn't so find his way home. So someone's lost him. You know, sometimes, hopefully, their owners will see him on the show. And, uh, but he's if got, not, he's ready to go. He's sad eyes. Uh, oh. He'd really like a home. He's lost. Can you turn him around so sure. we can see him? He, he not only gets he's along so with other dogs, he gets along with kids, too, which are both. Oh, this good. is a great dog. Well, it means you could have, a, have him as a second dog. Yeah. How about that? So and dogs, if you have one dog, dogs like companions. Yeah, they, they really do. do. And you can yeah. come down here with your, with your dog, and we have a little park area, and you can have different dogs yeah, meet yeah. and see how yeah. they get along. They're just like we are. Yeah, Some get along better than others. So look at these sad yeah, eyes. How can you it. resist? Yeah, it's a cute dog. So. Cute dog. And his number again is A278678. Little Marco. Okay, wait till you see this beautiful female. This is Sally. Oh, Just Sally. a beautiful oh. dog. And Sally's Sally, number dog. is A279004. <laughs> what a beauty. She's only a year and a half old, so she's still in puppy mode. Sally is a prize winner. Um, great with dogs, other dogs, great with kids. And very friendly, energetic, and loves attention. So if you're... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this face. What kind of dog and is Sally? And this on? is a, a, a white, black, white Siberian Husky. Yes, so this she is, is. Uh, just a beautiful dog. So she's got some growing to do. How old is she, Daddy? She's only a year and a half. Only a well, year and a half old. Uh, she'll fill out more. She yeah, won't get any taller. Up. This yeah. is about the height. Sally is um, very has a really pretty face. It's very unique. I don't know if you can tell. She is an odd-eyed um, dog, which, which means she's got one golden eye the blue. and one white eye, one kind of blue, hey. bluish white oh, eye. Very cool? rare oh, for cool? huskies. They yeah. normally have uh, the same color eyes. Now, did I, Mar Mom, did I see, was this, is this a blue ribbon dog? I thought I saw a blue ribbon which, which, uh, on her uh, pen, which means, can you explain that, Roy? Yeah, the, the blue, blue ribbon, ribbon means that she's been through all our training classes here. And she's passed them with flying colors. Wow. So she earned a blue ribbon. She's yeah. a well trained, yeah, so well behaved dog. So oh, she uh, sits right there. Look at that. Is she a beauty? So is Sally an owner turning a stray? A stray. a stray. She's a stray. You could change your so, name, you know. Yeah, you can, you can change, change your name. Sally, yeah, I would. I would. But yeah. you know, if I'd have lost this dog, I would have been here that very day looking for her. Yeah. She's beautiful. Yeah. She is a beautiful dog. I just dog. can't understand yeah. it. Well, I don't know whether she's neutered yet or not either. So uh, does maybe it say that's on that? It does not say. Well, like she's not spayed, so and she has to be so spayed before she leaves So that's probably why she got her. lost, yeah. um, you know, kind of, yeah. Now, who would be the ideal person to adopt Sally? Would it be? I uh, do believe people with a family of, uh, mm -hmm. say, young adults, like 16, mm -hmm. 17, 18, mm -hmm. that like to go jogging and camping with a family. This would be perfect, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Will she grow much bigger? Uh, she's not going to get any taller, but she will fill out. At one and a half mm -hmm. years old, the growing is normally normally stopped at that age. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's taking a rest while you tell us about some other <laughs> yes, animals. This is very unusual okay, yeah. also for this kind of dog. She's very calm, and that's why she mm -hmm. got the blue ribbon. 
Um, but before we uh, leave her, Sally here, what would she cost? What would, what, she would what's be one hundred and twenty dollars. That would include uh, the spaying in this case. She would also be microchipped. You would get that free veterinarian evaluation within five days of taking her home. Um, let's see. I think that's a bit. A toy. Oh, she'd get a toy. <laughs> a tug rope or something like that. <laughs> Pet, pets that you adopt, you always go home with a little toy. Oh, yeah. So she would be a, a, a great family dog, really great family dog, and you know she's going to be well behaved because she already has her blue ribbon. That's right. She already has the blue ribbon on, on, on her. She's on actually her a nice ribbon. size. She's not too big. Not too big? Not yeah. too small. She's just right. I would suggest brushing her every day. I believe these dogs have a double coat, so they throw them, you know, in the winter and in the summer, springtime. So, um, Sally, what's her number again, Don? Hey. Sally's number is A279004. Okay, well, Sally, Sally is the last pet on the show today, Sally? but uh, there's That's so there's many other pets here at the Humane Society, and I just wanted to tell you about, and maybe we can show you pictures of a few others that are here um, that are available for adoption, or will be in just a matter of days. We have a pen of pups. And this pen of pups, they're all very much alike. They're all um, three-month-old black and white lab pups. They're just so cute and just so friendly. They all have little, they're mainly white with little black patches. One has a black patch over his eye. It looks like a, a pirate. Um, and they uh, will be available in just a couple of couple of days. Friday. Uh, this, this, Friday? The, yeah, okay. on Friday. There is a, a, a rather uh, unique dog here called a uh, Havanese. A uh, Havanese could be a purebred. Oh, yes. pe pe oh yeah. pu purebred pedigree dog that came in. Uh, the Havanese is a female, uh, black and white, predominantly black. Kind of looks like a large um, Maltese what or something. She, oh. uh, no, 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 she no. looks more like a Lhasa, but she's a. That's it. She's got more like the terrier face. Havanese, yeah. you, they're in the dog book. You can check it out. Nice little dogs. Very rare. I don't yeah. recall seeing yeah. uh, a Cuban ha breed. Havanese yeah. ever here. Um, there is Dee oh, Dee. I don't want to forget Dee Dee because Dee Dee is a spayed female, white and tan Shih Tzu. She's very sweet, very fluffy. Um, just a really cute little classic little little cute dog. You know, one of those little cute dogs. She, she should have a little pink ribbon on her on her head. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there is Coco. Coco is a one-year-old male white and yellow Tibetan terrier. Tibetan terrier. What is a Tibetan terrier? Well, I think he's a little large for a Tibetan terrier, but he's from the, the Himalayas, that, that, that type of breed. Mm -hmm. right, the Shih Tzus, Lhasas, uh, Tibetan Spaniels, right, right, right. Tibetan Terriers. Um, I, I would say he's a good guess, actually. <laughs> Well, just a yeah, beautiful just a dog, very, very yeah. uh, statuesque, very active, very friendly, really pretty dog. He's more like a Wheaton Terrier to me. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Very yeah, much yeah, like yeah. a Wheaton Terrier, but he has a long tail. So that's uh, Coco. Yeah. And there's so many puppies here and so many kittens and just so many cats here that are looking for new forever homes. Um, I just wanted to mention one more kitten that was sort of a standout in the cat room, and that is... Um, a two-month-old female Siamese with blue eyes, um, predominantly white, just such a, a pretty cat. So you, you might be interested in um, taking a look at some of the kittens and kitties here in the cat room and in the shelter in the back. Mm -hmm. so it's, a, it's a great place to visit. Kids are always smiling oh, when they're coming through yeah, here. Yeah. And we have the Lynx Point kittens, yeah. too, and mm -hmm. I do believe we have a couple of ragdoll yeah. kittens, very pretty, yep, yep. very striking to look at. This seems to be the time of year when you you you, know, you want to sort of um, <laughs> hunker down, nestle down on rainy days, chill days with the holidays coming, and having a pet nearby is just the best. It's really the best. It's amazing how much you talk to them. It's surprising yeah. what you do. And I, it's so there. okay. Yeah, I'm not. I, we it seemed I get more reaction from how happy people are yeah. <laughs> that, that that adopt from here. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, anyway, you can call us at 626-792-7151, or you can check out our website at www.pasadenahumane.org, or the best is to come down and see us. We are at 361 uh, South Raymond Avenue. You take the 134 from Glendale or the 210. Uh, 
get off at the Del Mar exit. It's a little hard to see, so it's way over to the right-hand side. Get off at Del Mar, take a left on Del Mar, right onto Raymond, and there we are. So please come see us. Please come and adopt Sally. Sally is yeah. just anxious oh, to have a new home. Absolutely. You definitely would uh, need a, a large yard for Sally and at least a six-foot fence so that she can get plenty of exercise. She does need that. Okay. Well, on behalf of Sally and all the animals that you saw on this show, Sally. I would like to thank our wonderful people behind the camera here, and that includes our producer for the uh, Humane Society here, uh, Marlon. Marlon, thank you very much for uh, handling all the animals on our script today. And behind the camera, our Ace City staff, Rob <laughs> and Derek and uh, Sabrina. Thank you guys all so much for helping us and making us look good. Dot, thank you for being here again. Great. Today. I like that Rob went like that. That was. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, what do they call that yeah. in that commercial? The universal sign. The universal, that, that's, that's what we, we got. Yeah. And uh, Roy, thanks again for helping all us right, out well, on the show. It's my pleasure. And most of all, thank you guys back home there for, for watching and for helping us help the animals here at the Pasadena Humane Society. <laughs>